Good evening everyone. I wanted to do a brief video, sort of news announcement video you've probably already heard, or if you haven't my video title has already spoiled it for you, but it seems that Terry Davis has died. Like actually died. Now people have been talking about this for a couple weeks, there have been rumors about it, uh, people have had screen caps from this or that talking about him dying, but it seems it's now been confirmed by local news and his own website has been updated and it seems like Terry Davis has actually died. Uh, so if you don't know who Terry Davis is, he's sort of a meme in a lot of ways among you know people who are interested in technology or whatever. He sort of became a meme on G but it spread out from there. And that is Davis was a very eccentric, uh, well he was schizophrenic, but he was a very eccentric computer programmer, to say the least. He's most known for writing what's called Temple OS, which is an operating system he developed as part of his schizophrenia, I should say. Um, his schizophrenia was manifest in that he felt that God was telling him to write an operating system with very specific specifications to communicate with him uh, as a third temple of Jerusalem. And so Davis did exactly that. He performed the Herculean task of writing an entire operating system from scratch, which you can still download on templeos.org. So that is out there. Now, of course, it's not, um, it's not a particularly usable operating system because it's made to divine specifications. What is it, like 360 by 480 resolution or something? Oh, someone's going to kill me for getting that wrong if it is, but... so. Davis made this operating system and I guess you could say much like the the prophets of old he relied to communicate with the divine instead of using lots or instead of using augers he used I think random number generation I don't even want to say that but some kind of what he called an oracle in the computer as a, a program that basically used randomness to get answers from the divine so that was his that's his eccentricness. Well, I should, that's part of it. His other eccentricness was, of course, uh, being known for just having no filter. And you could very easily set him off to say, well, things that, of course, got him banned from YouTube and other places as well, including Twitter. But, um, so, yeah, so he was, he's definitely been a meme for the past years. And I guess within the past couple of months, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but he had gone AWOL or left his home or something like this and went traveling on the west coast I think throughout California and he apparently ended up how he died was he apparently ended up in Oregon and I should say at this point this was I think on August 11th he had deleted all of his recent YouTube videos and he put up one final video I mean, not saying anything, but just, I mean, you can check it out. Just search his name on YouTube and it'll come up. Or go to templeos.org, I think it's on that. But he put up a video, you know, nondescript, just sort of saying the typical things that Terry says. But apparently later that day, he was hit by a train in what appears to be a suicide. I think that's, that's what people think. And, um, yeah, it seemed to be like he knew that it was coming. And this was, I forget what town, but it was on the Oregon-Washington border, so he he died. And again, this was August 11th, so it's been nearly a month. Rumors were circulating for a couple weeks, but I just saw some news articles today that I guess confirmed it. So it's it's probably, the, and uh, his website, I should, yeah, his website updated, so. Yeah, so Davis, you know, I, I never particularly, I didn't want to shine a lot of light on him while, you know, he was still alive just because you know, since I have a platform on YouTube, I think, um, you know, I think there was a tendency for people to give him a little more attention than he was probably healthy for him. Now, I don't want to, I'm not blaming anyone for his, you know, descent into whatever happened, but it, you know, he was an unstable person, and I didn't want to be the kind of person to do a video, even a, a video sort of playing around with him, because, you know, even the people making jokes about him, I think, have supreme, you know, supreme respect for the guy, because, yeah, he is, he was pretty crazy, but, um, you, again, you have to, like, sit there in awe of his technical accomplishments, um, because it's not the kind of thing that, uh, people usually do, so, 
I didn't do videos on him just because I didn't want to put more focus on him, but I figured now, you know, it's okay to at least say that he died and that I was paying attention. And uh, so, you know, best of luck to any of his family if you happen to end up watching this video. Um, so I'm, I'm sure that, you know, his life was, I, I'm not quite sure how old he was. I want to say he was in his 50s. I'm not quite sure, but, you know, uh, so respect to everyone involved and you know he's one of those guys that there's just no replacing you know even if you view him as just some crazy guy there's no replacing him even in the the sphere that he took in the internet I guess now I might uh, play around just for fun in honor of him I might play around with Temple OS next next week I'm not promising videos but I, I might I might play around with it and if it's you know worth doing videos on I might do that but um, yeah, so again, website, templeos.org, you can check him out. You can check out his videos on YouTube. Again, he's the kind of guy, if you look his, if you look his actual videos up, he, again, he has no filter. He says whatever. Um, he's very wary of the CIA, as you'll learn, but, you know, he's one of those guys, again, who's not going to be replaced. So, anyway, good night, sweet prince, as they say. And uh, I guess I'll see you, oh man, dramatic ending. I'll see you guys next time. Rip in peace.